Welcome back to Afternoon Live. What has three hearts, blue blood, and the ability to squeeze through a space the size of their eyeball? The answer, of course, is the incredible octopus. Here to tell us more about these fascinating creatures of the sea, we welcome the author of Secrets of the Octopus, Cy Montgomery. Hi, Cy. Hi, I'm so pleased to be with you. Yes, pleased to have you. This is so fascinating. Your book is gorgeous. And it is not your first book about octopuses. What is the fascination with these creatures? <laughs> Well, I first got to know an octopus in 2011, in March, when my friend Scott Dowd lifted up the lid to the tank containing Athena, a giant Pacific octopus. I had no idea what to expect, but I saw this beautiful creature slide from her lair, her eyes locked onto to my face, and the next thing I knew, her beautiful arms were boiling up out of the water, reaching for mine. So, of course, I plunged my hands and arms into the freezing cold water to meet her and found my skin covered with her soft, questing oh. suckers. I was in love. Oh, what a beautiful story. I don't think people think of an octopus like that, but they really are intelligent creatures. Tell me more about they that. Oh, they're very intelligent. They, um, in, in many ways, I, I think they're smarter than we are. They frequently outsmart the scientists who are studying them. They've been known to steal divers' cameras and film the diver instead of the other way around. They sneak out of their tanks if you don't really lock down the lid. And sometimes they'll take apart their entire tank and they've been known to like flood the entire aquarium they can untie knots in surgical silk. They, some of them just love to find out how things work. And when they don't like things, they dismantle them. One was annoyed by a light above the tank and so just squirted water out of her funnel directly at it and kept shorting out the light day after day after day until the humans probably eventually figured out that they needed to get rid of that light or move it. Yeah, that is just amazing. And your book is in conjunction with the National Geographic special with the same name, Secrets of the Octopus. And the video is so beautiful. How do they capture the video and the photography? Well, Adam Geiger and his team didn't have a whole lot of fancy equipment that wasn't available before. But what they did have was extraordinary dedication and patience. Because these intelligent animals, you can't really sneak up on them. You have to let them feel comfortable in your presence. And this is exactly what he did. He spent hours, and his team spent hours and hours and days and days just letting the animals know that they were harmless. And only then did the animals begin to reveal their secrets and feel comfortable with the camera crew and with Dr. Alex Schnell, who often appears on camera and is just so wonderful at explaining and interpreting the octopus's behavior. So what was it like for you to be that up close and personal with an octopus? Boy, the first time I met Athena, I was absolutely smitten, but I kept going back and back to New England Aquarium and met subsequent octopuses and knew them for years and every week we would be together we would play together for sometimes an hour or more and i got to know their individual personalities they clearly recognized me and my face we know that they do that from experiments and they inspired me to learn how to scuba dive in my 50s oh so good I, for you I, yeah yes and that leads me to believe that they really are emotional creatures Yes, absolutely. In fact, very recently there was um, a declaration, a new declaration on consciousness that came out of New York declaring that um, certainly octopuses and probably many other invertebrate animals, including insects, are conscious. Because consciousness serves such an important role in your survival. You need to think and feel and know in order to survive. What if you didn't know that, you know, when a moray eel is biting your arm off, ow, it hurts. Well, then you wouldn't leave. What if you didn't experience pleasure? Well, then you probably would never eat or have sex. So all of these things are important to many animals. But what strikes me about the octopus 
is how how different they are from us physically, but how their minds are remarkably like our own. Yes, well there is so much more to learn and I hope people check out your book, Secrets of the Octopus, because they really are amazing creatures. Thank you, Sai, for joining us. Oh, it was a joy, thanks so much. Thank you. We will have more information on our website at KETU.com and we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.